In this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw pipes. And so we are going to start, we just finished working with one point perspective, and we are going to be incorporating some similar items into this particular assignment. So we're going to do a practice drawing first. Um, as you go, you might want to stop and pa or pause the video so that you can get caught up. I'm going to move fairly quickly. Um, so pause as you go if you need to. We're going to be talking about several things. Um, we're going to be talking about parallel lines. We're going to be talking about positive and negative space. We're going to be talking about connectors. We're going to be talking about contour line. Um, we're going to be talking about overlapping. And how do we show something that's close to us versus far away? And then we're also going to be um, just kind of learning how to make different attachments and how to take straight lines and make them more curved. So here's a little example of kind of what we're going to be doing. Now this is obviously, this is the handout that I have for you and you can see there's um, a lot of different ways you can do your piping. Um, but we're going to make three pipes and we're going to start off with um, a pipe that just has a like a 90 degree angle okay 90 degree angle pipe so one thing you need to understand is that we're gonna start with the pipes that are closest to us so I'm gonna start with a very um, a large pipe I want to make sure my pipe is nice and wide so my first pipe that I draw is going to be closest to me so I want to make a nice wide pipe and I want to try and keep my the width of my pipe wide all the way through. So I want the same consistency all the way through. So these are parallel lines. And then this is going to eventually turn a corner because it's a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to do a line coming down this direction. And then the width I have here, I want to keep consistent on the other side. So I'm going to try and draw kind of that same width. Now obviously pipes do not have this straight edge. So we need to kind of curve that a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to curve that line there. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to curve this line here so that the pipe is turning. And then I'm going to erase these lines. Now when you have pipes, if you were to look underneath your, whoops, I'm erasing the wrong ones. When you look underneath your sink or whatever, you're going to notice that if you were to go to Menards or Home Depot or whatever store Lowe's you have around you, you're going to notice that there's different types of piping. There is straight piping, which is fine, but you have all these different connectors. So basically our work, we're dealing with straight pipes and anytime we are moving away from a straight pipe and we're going to connectors here, then we are, need to put, um, we need to make connectors. Now I'm going to show you how to make a connector. When we do the connector, and I'm looking at this, and this is looking just a little bit thick to me as I'm going through, so I'm just going to go back and just kind of see if I can't make that. I don't know why, it's just not looking quite right to me. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, this is just a sketch. But if I see something that I don't like, I tend to want to tweak it until I get something that looks better. All right, so I'm going to make a, um, a connector. The connector is what kind of connects those pipes together. So when I create my connector, I want to make sure my connector is going in the same direction. If I did a connector that is straight up and down, my pipe is going to look very flat. It does that does not help my pipe look round at all. So we are going to be using contour lines. Okay, so that's one of the things that we're talking about here. We're going to be using contour lines, and we're going to come back to that in a minute. So right now, we're going to be working with connectors. So the connectors don't happen at the curve. They happen a little further away. So you need to be part of the, on part of the straight edge for a connector to happen. And the connector needs to go in the exact same direction. So it doesn't really matter what direction you decide to go. So if I were to do a curve going this direction, I would need to make sure that curve stays in the same direction. Um, so if I were going in this direction, I would want to make sure the curve goes in this direction. So I'm actually going to do a curve. I'm going to do a curve in this direction. Okay, right like that. And if I were to follow that curve going around, my curve would not go this way because that would be the opposite. I would make this curve go the same direction. So this is showing the contour of the pipe. 
So you can see how now it's looking like the pipe is round. Now there's two different types of connectors you can create. There's kind of a bubble connector or a rounded connector and then there's, there's a flat one. So to make that connector, I'm going to not start at the end of this line, but I'm going to move over just a little bit. So I'm leaving a little bit of space. And then I'm going to come up. And if I'm doing a rounded one, I'm going to come down. And I want to make sure that this is, again, we're talking parallel lines. We're keeping equal distance all the way around. Okay, so we want some consistency there. And this is going to come back and end. Again, I'm leaving a little bit of space there. Okay, this is going to be there. This is going to be there. However, this line would get erased. So do you see how now I have a round, it looks like it's wrapping around the pipe. So this is a rounded connector. If you want one that looks flat, you can do it this way. Again, I'm starting further out. I'm gonna come up and around, only this time I have kind of keeping parallel lines with my pipe, I'm making it flat. And then I'm gonna come back around. And again, equal distance. If it goes off the paper, that's what it has to do, but you want consistency. So this is gonna come down, it's gonna come past the pipeline, and then I'm gonna have, again, that horizontal line, keeping with the pipe, and then I will be erasing this. The, it does not matter which whether you do a rounded connector or a flat connector. However, if you're on this particular pipe, if you choose to do a round, then you should stick with a round over here. Or if you're doing a flat, you want to make sure all your connectors are flat. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a, um, a water valve. So I think I am going to, um, I want to do another pipe and I want that pipe to go behind this one. Because this pipe is closer to me, it's wider. So my next pipe that I put behind it, that, so this one looks like it's overlapping, is going to be thinner. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. So I think I'm going to move this, turn this this way, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a pipe coming down over here, and you'll notice that I've made it thinner. Now, part of the problem with, that some students have is they do something like this. What's wrong with that? If you're saying these lines don't match up, and I know I've made this pretty dramatic, but if these lines don't, lines don't match up, then you're right. So what I usually tell students is that when they're drawing their lines for their pipes and they have to cross another pipe, I suggest that you start here and then you come up and you continue. So start, lift up, pretend like you're continuing to draw, and then put your pencil back down. Now I'm doing um, a pipe that is going to, I'm going to do a T pipe here. So I'm actually going to show you a T pipe. So I'm going to come across like this and I'm going to come across like this. Whoops. Here we go. And again, I want to make sure that my, um, and I'm just wondering if I left enough room up here. I don't know if I left enough room for to show you uh, okay you know what we're going to change our mind we're going to make this a y pipe because i didn't leave enough room to show you the um to get the handle the water valve on there so i'm going to back up a little bit and we're going to change things around a little bit now you don't have to be putting your pipes in the same spot i have you get to decide where your pipes are going to be on your paper um, okay so let's back up let's show you instead of showing you a t-pipe or a water valve, and I'll do a water valve somewhere over here. Um, I'm going to do a Y pipe. So when you do a Y pipe, you want to make sure that your diagonal that you have when you're going off for the Y is the same. Um, and it should definitely look like a Y. So if I come up and I do something like this, okay, I don't want to be doing a straight up or I don't want to be coming out here because it's not going to look right. I need to make sure that the angle that I draw on this side matches the angle I draw on this side. So I'm just going to try and get that as best as I can so that we have a matching angle. Again, you need to make sure that your thickness here, if you put a V in the middle, you want to make sure that this thickness matches on all pipes. So you have that thickness running through the whole thing. 
Now some of you might be saying, well that looks a little bit sharp. That's because we haven't gone in and we have to add our curves. So if you're going in, you can add the curves of your pipes to make this look a little bit more natural. And then you need to add your connectors. Now the connector might be behind here, so I might need, not need to show this one. And maybe the connector is over here. And again, it might end up coming on and off the paper. So you want to go in and add your connectors. Like that. Erasing the lines inside those connectors because you want your connector to look solid. You don't see through them. Okay. So there's our Y pipe. Now the reason I wanted to show you the Y pipe is because if we take a look at these other um, pipes that we have, I've showed you the straight pipe. Um, I showed you the elbow. A T pipe is very similar. Okay, just like coming perpendicular, two perpendicular pipes, and then making sure you have your, your um, curved edges. 45, the Y pipe is a little bit different because you need to make sure you keep your diagonals um, and the same, your angle's the same. Cross pipe is very similar to this, only you have another piece coming down this way. Um, and then the elbow pipe kind of looks like a macaroni noodle. So I think you all kind of know how to draw a macaroni noodle. I'm sure many of you eat lots and copious amounts of macaroni and cheese, um, like my kids do. But anyway, um, so now I want to show you how to do the water valve. And I need to make sure that the water valve um, is on a smaller pipe. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this much smaller. So I'm going to have a pipe that's much skinnier that's going to come across here. I think I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to have, notice this pipe is going behind, it's, again we're overlapping, so this pipe's going to go behind these three, so I'm going to make it even thinner. And this pipe is going to go, as you can see, behind this one. And I'm going to make my water valve here. Now because this is so much smaller, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. So the next step that I need to do is I need to add the, part, the water pipe that comes up, like the little valve part. So this is going to come up here, and I, again, I want, to make, I want this to be consistent. I'm going to bring these lines just slightly south, just below the pipeline, and I'm going to make a curved line at the bottom. So basically what I'm making is a cylinder. Okay, I'm going to erase this line inside, and I'm going to do a foreshortened circle. And a foreshortened circle basically means you're doing the same thing as an oval. I'm going to make an oval right there. Okay. Now I'm looking at this and I'm realizing this is probably too high, that this should probably be a little bit lower. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this. I don't think you're I don't think it would come out that high. That's a little better. And I might put another, if I wanted to tear it, I could put another cylinder on top and erase. And then on top of that, I might have the piece that um, kind of holds the handle that will get turned. So watch what I'm going to do for the handle. Some students, I have seen some students where they make the handle like that. And you might say that doesn't quite look right. It doesn't look right because it's not centered on here. So when you add the handle, you want to make sure that you are centering the handle in the center. And so I'm going to go across here and I'm just going to do that. Now if you want to make this look three-dimensional, you can make this again into an oval. And if you want to add more details, you could go in and you can show maybe the openings in your handle that you might have, and then maybe you have something back here that's also showing kind of some openings in the back. There is a handout that I have that shows you different types of valves and valve systems, so you could try any of these handles that would work. 
Now, I want you to notice something about this. I forgot something. Can you figure out what it is I forgot? If you said that I forgot my connectors, you're absolutely right because I don't have um, a straight pipe. I don't, it's not just all straight pipe. I am adding a piece here. So there should be a connector on either side. So I need to go in and I need to decide which direction do I want my connector to go. So I'm going to put a connector here. And again, I want you to notice that my connectors always stay going in the same direction, okay? That is what is going to help when you start adding color. Now that you have your three pipes in, you are going to practice working with contour line. But before we do that, we want to talk a little bit about um, positive negative space. We've talked about parallel lines, we've talked about connectors, we've talked about contour line. We certainly have some overlapping happening which we've discussed. Positive and negative space. Positive space is the eraser. Positive space is my paper clip. Positive space is my pencil. So anything that takes up space is considered positive space, which means negative space is kind of like the air. So you'll notice we have created some really interesting positive and interesting negative spaces in through here. Um, one of the things I am going to want you to do is I'm going to want you to try and get your pipes to go off all four sides of the paper. And you'll notice I did not do that here. I only went off three sides. So if I were to meet the criteria of the lesson, I would need to add another pipe somehow in through here that is going off. And it could be one of the, it could be maybe that macaroni pipe um, that just kind of looks like it's kind of coming in and turning. Just as long as you have a pipe that's kind of going off all four sides of the paper. And that's probably not the best. Well, actually that's not too bad. So something like that. Um, so when we add contour line, take a look at the contour of this connector. We are going to keep that contour line all the way across. So if I am adding color, and I'm just going to use some highlighters here to help show color. If I'm adding color, I can add color, thin color, I can add thick color. We're also going to be talking about color choices. So we're going to be talking about warm colors versus cool colors, complementary colors versus analogous colors. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that we could be adding color here. An important part of when we add color and we start adding our contour line is making sure we don't go past the um, pipeline. Because if we pass the pipeline, uh, I don't know about you, but I've never seen fuzzy edges on a pipe. So you want to make sure that your um, your edges are nice and crisp and clean. And I apologize. I'm hoping you saw what I just demonstrated. You can see that these are contour lines. I want to show you how you're going to treat this. So when you go, keep going across, notice these are contour lines. And some of you might be saying, well, what happens when you turn the corner? Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue those contour lines. But I want you to notice how, do you see how my, my contour lines are getting wider on this side and skinnier on this side? So as I turn the corner, and I'm just keeping with the contour line. And do you see how this contour line is now matching up with this connector? This is why it's important that you keep the connectors going in the same direction and you just continue down. Same thing here. This would just come over and you would just be connecting here, this would go in this direction. So you're following the contour of the shape. Um, this is curved in this direction, so this would be coming down something like this, which tells me that this connector back here would be going in this direction, so you would have something that might come up and maybe do something like that. So different ways of doing this and then you again you would be going in with your markers and you would be adding color. So I would like for you to make sure that your name is on your paper and I want you to practice adding your contour line, um, adding a little bit of color and then the next time we come to art you're going to be starting your final um, your final work on the final paper. So 
uh, have fun and um, try adding a couple more pipes and try some different connectors and some different valves. Oh, one more thing. Uh, if you want to make it look like there's like a little crack and you have a leak, uh, you certainly can. So you have water dripping, um, but be careful. Make sure you truly know what direction you want your paper to be in because I've had students who have um, put their water in and then they hand their work into me and they say they want it matted and want it shown this way. Well, this is going against gravity. So then the, the drips would have to be coming down in this direction. So before you start adding any cracks or any water spraying or anything like that, make sure you really know what direction you want your piece to be viewed at um, as the artist. All right, so have fun.